you're thinking, then keep watching. Because in uh, the Keen Food Fun Leftover Pizza uh, program, we're going to show you some fun ideas of what you can do with uh, leftover pizza. First, we're going to show you how to make pizza waffles. For this, you will need uh, two slices of pizza, some cheese, and uh, some nonstick cooking spray. First, you're going to uh, spray some of the nonstick cooking spray onto a paper towel. And then you're going to go and lightly brush it over your waffle maker so that the uh, pizza waffles will not stick to the waffle maker. Then you're going to go and preheat the waffle maker. And you're going to uh, take your two slices of pizza, put some cheese on top of one of them. And then uh, put the uh, slices together, uh, pressing down, especially on the edges, to help uh, the pizza stick together a little bit better. Depending on the size of your waffle maker, you might need to cut the pizza uh, down to the size of your waffle maker. That way it'll fit. Once your waffle maker is preheated and you've cut the pizza to the size that is needed, you're going to carefully uh, put the pizza in the waffle maker and then uh, press down. Make sure that you don't touch the top of the waffle maker where it's hot, otherwise it uh, might burn your hand. As the pizza warms up, it, the uh, waffle maker should be able to press down a little bit more. Once the pizza waffle has finished cooking and you've carefully taken it out of the pizza waffle and uh, put it on a plate, then I'll be ready to eat along with your favorite sauce to dip or pour on top. Next, we're going to show you how to make pizza bread pudding. For this recipe, you'll need two slices of pizza, two eggs, one half cup of cheese plus a little bit extra to spread on top, one whole cup of milk, and uh, some seasoning on the side that you might like to put on your pizza, uh, such as the oregano or parmesan or Italian herb seasoning or whatever else you like on your pizza. First. You're going to go and uh, pour the milk, the cheese, and the two eggs into the oven safe uh, container. And mix it together. Once the egg, cheese, and milk mixture is well mixed, you're going to go and cut up your uh, pizza into small pieces. Once you finish cutting the pizza up into small bite-sized pieces, you're going to pour it into the uh, mixture and uh, press the pizza in so that they're all covered in uh, the mixture. And then you're going to let it sit and uh, soak for about uh, 10 minutes uh, so that uh, the mixture gets uh, into the pizza. Once the pizza pieces have uh, softened from soaking in the egg, uh, milk, and cheese mixture for 10 minutes, you're going to go and uh, sprinkle some cheese on top. If you like a lot of cheese, you can add more. If you don't like a lot of cheese, you can put a little bit less. You're also going to go and put uh, any seasonings that you uh, like on your pizza on top. And then you're going to uh, put it in the oven, uh, which will be preheated uh, to 350 degrees. Uh, and it'll go in for about uh, 15 minutes or until the uh, egg mixture has uh, been cooked uh, thoroughly and the uh, cheese is melted. Once the uh, piece of bread pudding is fully cooked, uh, you'll carefully take it out of the oven, uh, let it cool, and then it'll be ready to enjoy. And last, we're going to show you how to make pizza rolls. For this recipe, you'll need one slice of pizza, a fourth cup of uh, whatever sauce uh, is also on the pizza, and uh, some seasonings that you uh, like sprinkled on top of pizza, such as oregano, parmesan, or Italian herb seasoning. First, you're going to cut your piece off into a long strip. Okay. Next, you're going to go and take some of the pizza sauce and uh, spread it on top of uh, the pizza. Then, you're going to 
going to go and take some of the uh, seasonings, uh, sprinkle it on top, and start rolling up your pizza. Now this will be a very uh, messy recipe, but it does taste pretty good after it's done. Once you've finished rolling up your pizza, you're going to go and if it's staying together, you can just put it straight in the microwave on a microwave safe plate for about a minute. If it's not staying together, you can try wrapping it in something like paper towel. After you've finished heating it up in the microwave, you're going to drizzle uh, some of the uh, pizza sauce on top of the pizza. Uh, Parmesan cheese or some of your favorite seasoning on top and it's ready to enjoy. Thank you for joining us for the Teen Food Fun uh, Leftover Pizza program. We hope you enjoyed it and uh, let us know what some of your favorite leftover pizza recipes are.